very common query we get is how do you link two sheets together? And it's an extremely simple process, but it's important that you understand how it works. So as shown previously, if I want to link to a cell, I can just go to an empty cell and I'll say equals, so I'll switch the calculator on, and all I do is I point to that cell. So I can either do it by typing, so I can say B5, and it'll look there, but it's probably easier for me to just go and click on that cell and Excel looks at the address and types in B5. So when I click enter, it brings that information through. To link to another sheet is as simple as that. So for example, here we've got some product codes, how many were sold, but we now need the sales price. And the sales price is actually on a different sheet over here. And you'll see we've got product A's price, product B's price. So we want to now see those numbers over here. So what I can do is I can say equals. Now you can type it but it becomes a little bit difficult because you have to type it exactly right and there's exclamation marks and all sorts of things. So when you click equals all you do is you click on that other sheet and you click on the relevant cell and you'll notice that it has written everything in for you. Equals linking to exclamation mark so that's just the way Excel works cell B5. When I click enter, you'll see that this is now pulling through the 50 Rand. And the reason it knows that is because it says equals go to the cell, the sheet called linking to over here, cell B5. So it's as simple as that. You click on a cell, you say equals, you go to the other sheet, you click on the one you want. As mentioned previously, whenever you enter a cell, you must, to get out of it, to finish the calculation, push enter. Do not click somewhere else. So we click enter and it enters it. So just to repeat this, I'm going to go here and that's the 50 Rand one. This one is the 60 Rand one. So what you've now done is you've got the sales price and then you can create a total quite easily by just saying equals that cell multiplied by that cell and we get our number. Alternatively we could have done this in one step so I could in fact say equals I'm going to say look at those units sold I'm going to say multiplied and now I can go to the other cell other sheet so I'm going to go just click there I know it's the 50 and you'll see Excel includes it as part of the formula so it's saying on the sheet we are in go look at B5 and then multiply it and go to linking to and look at B5 so when I click enter you'll see it brings it through so you'll see why it's quite useful to be able to click on the cells because you don't want to have to try and get that sheet name correct because there's all sorts of things that happen if there's a space or if there isn't a space. So just to show you again, equals the unit sold multiplied by the price. When we click enter, we get our number. Let's just delete those. If you've learned about dollar signs, dollar signs also work. So I know that when we're referring to products A, they both must look at the same price over here. They must both both look at B50. So I'm going to say, and in fact we'll do it over here because this is the way we prefer to do it, separately showing each item. So I'm going to say, what is the sales price? Equals, go to the sheet, click on that one, and now I know, I don't want it to just look at B5. Can you see there's no dollar signs here? So I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of that. And a dollar sign in front of that. So what we're telling Excel is whenever you use this formula, no matter where I copy you, always look at the sheet called linking to and always look at cell B5. So if I copy that and I paste it over here, the other product A, control V, you'll see it brings the 50 rand. If instead what I had done is I'd said equals that cell there, no dollar signs. When I copied it down, can you see by the time you get to this one, it's now saying zero. 
Why? Because it's looking for linking to cell B7. Linking to cell B7. It's looking over here. So your dollar signs work here as well. So just to show you, product B is going to be equals. Go to the sheet. Go to the cell. Check if the dollar signs are in there. If they're not, put them in. So put a dollar sign there. Dollar sign there. Click enter. We've got a 60. I can copy and I can paste it here. And now you've got your formula set up. And then again, you can go and say equals that multiplied by that. And copy that down. So now we've shown you how to link between sheets. So these sheets are on exactly the same workbook. So we're just clicking there. But let's now, you'll see over here, I've got a separate spreadsheet. Can you see this one's called Excel Fundamentals? This one's called Book One. So they're totally different sheets. So the process is exactly the same and it's just one minor difference. For the sales price, all I do is I say equals and I go and I find the other sheet. So you can do it whichever way you want. I can click on that cell there and I click there. Now what you'll notice is when I click enter, if you look at the formula, you'll see here it includes the book name. So in square brackets, book one, sheet one, B5. The only difference between when you do it with between sheets versus workbooks is that by default, when it's between workbooks, notice the dollar signs are already put on. So if you're going from one workbook to another, the dollar signs are on, so you need to decide whether you want them on or not. When you're going between sheets, they are automatically not, they are not on, so I'm going to equals to this one here, click on the 60. Notice here, no book name, but the reference has no dollar signs. So just be a little bit careful with that. The process is simple. You just click equals, you click on the workbook and you click on it, but then you must decide, do you want the dollar signs on or not? And that will be decided on what you're going to do, how you're going to copy it, and how do you want it to react.